Game Kings, the definition of game documentary coming soon. Yo, yo, what's poppin'? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So in this video, I want to talk about, you know, you guys looking through your girl's phone. Okay, looking through your girl's phone. Um, you know, this could also apply to your girl looking through your phone. So, you know, if you dealing with a girl or you know some chicks, you can send them this video also because this pertains to them too. But just when you're looking in someone's phone, right, when you're dating them, right, what you're doing is, is that you are seeing information that actually does not pertain to you. Right now, follow me here, because see what most guys will do is they'll be like, well, I'm gonna look at my girl phone because I'm suspicious. Maybe she's cheating on me. Maybe she's flirting with other guys. You know, um, maybe she's saying and doing stuff that, you know, I don't approve of. Right now, what you have to understand is this, is that when you look into someone's phone, it's like looking into their mind. Right. So when you are, let's say, for example, Let's say um, you're chilling with your chick and let's say you could read her mind, right? She doesn't know you could read her mind, but you could read her mind, right? And let's say y'all chilling and you say something to her and she's saying in her mind like, oh my God, I can't fucking stand this motherfucker. He annoying the shit out of me right now, right? This is what she's saying in her mind, but you can't really uh, call her out on it because she hasn't presented that to you. That was just in her head. That's how she feels at that moment, which is private to her. You see what I'm saying? And so that moment she's having when she's thinking about that actually doesn't have anything to do with you. So you can't really call it out in that moment because you were never meant to experience that moment she's having. See, I, 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 want, I don't want you guys to get confused here because I want you guys to understand the point of this. Is that when we're having relationships with people, right? The relationships we have with those people are going to be different than the relationships those people are gonna have with others, right? So even though this is your girlfriend or you're her boyfriend or whatever it is, right? Um, there's gonna be things that she does outside of you that you will never understand or that will never really pertain to you because it was never meant for your eyes to see and for your ears to hear. Now you might be saying, but come on, Mr. Locario, if this chick is, let's say this chick is cheating on me, and I check her phone and I, and I realize that she's cheating, right? Now you got to ask yourself this question. What's happening in your situation or in your relationship? Or I should say, what are you perceiving is happening to the point where you felt the need to check her phone in the first place? So what made you feel the need to even pick up the phone and look at it in the first place because you were feeling suspicious, right? So now you're feeling suspicious of what was happening, which is why you picked up the phone. But guess what? Um, let's say, for example, she was cheating, right? And you're like, well, I'm glad I found out that she's cheating because now I'm gonna break up with her. Guess what? You were going to find out she was cheating eventually anyway. But what happens is, is that what you've done now is you went into her phone, you went into her mind, and you were in a place where you didn't really need to be. Right, so let's say something is happening that let's say it's it's a little less severe than cheating. Let's say the girl, your girl, is talking to her friend on the phone, right? Or or let us, she's texting her friend, and you look through her text, and she says to her friend, she says, "Man, my man is pissing me the fuck off right now. I can't stand when he does this or does that." And then the girl's like, "Yeah, I know, girl, because my man is doing this and doing that, and you know they're going back and forth, you know, bitching and moaning about their men." So now you're going to read that and think, oh, so what, my girl don't love me? My girl don't like me? What the fuck? Right? So you're thinking, well, maybe she doesn't love me, maybe she doesn't like me, right? But what could actually be happening in that situation is just her, uh, you know, having a conversation and trying to connect with her friend, and that's how they talk. You feel what I'm saying? They talk by complaining about their men's and, and their men and the shit that they don't that annoys them and all this other stuff. But that was a conversation that your girl was having with her friend. You were never meant to see or hear that conversation. So what I'm saying is this: is that you have to understand that when you look into your girl's phone, you are seeing stuff out of context. You're seeing it in a context where you were never meant to 
see it or be there or interact with her in that way. So it's not as if she's doing or saying or being in a certain way in relation to you. She's being a certain way in relation to her and to whatever situation she's putting herself in in that moment. So for example, let's say your girl has Instagram. And let's say a, a guy is uh, hitting her up on Instagram in the DMs. And let's say that he is flirting with her. And let's say she flirts back. But let's say she was never going to actually see this dude. But she's just flirting back with him a little bit and then she ends the conversation. So you're going to go in there, you're going to see her flirting. You're going to be like, bitch, the fuck you flirting with this motherfucker for blah, 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 right? So now you're upset. But she was just flirting for her own self-gratification and validation to get attention. But she was never going to leave you. She loves you. She wants to be with you. But in that specific situation, this is what she was doing in that regard. But see, now what guys, what most guys are going to say is they're going to be like, listen, you know, I don't want my girl doing this. I don't want my girl talking to any other guys. I don't want this to pop off right now. If you, in fact, had that conversation with your girl, uh, you know, prior to this happening, then that's one thing. But let's say you didn't have that conversation and, you know, she's just flirting and doing her thing in that moment. That was basically meant for her attention and for her validation. You see what I mean? And so what I'm trying to get across here is this, is that when you are looking through your girl's phone, you're putting yourself in a situation where you were never meant to be in. So what you're doing is you're seeing your girl in a moment that you were never meant to experience. You understand? See, what that means is, is that and this happens for everyone, for your girl, my girl, for, for you, for whoever else, your brother, sister, whatever. When someone is around you or, or interacting with you, right? A lot of times what will happen is this, is how they are or how they act or how they're going to uh, present themselves will sometimes be different than how they're going to act around you. So how they act around you is could be totally different than how they're going to act or present themselves around other people. So what happens is, is that when they're around other people, you will never know how that person is because you're not, you're not there to witness it. You understand what I'm saying? So to put it simply, let's say if I took a hidden camera and I followed your girl around while she was chilling with her girlfriends, right? You're going to see a whole side of your girlfriend that you never knew existed. And what's going to happen is the reason why you're seeing that is because you're not there. You understand? If you were to be literally in that situation, that side of your girlfriend would not come out because you're there. So the side of her of who she is around you is going to be different than the side of her of who she is around other people in other situations. So what happens is when you're going into the phone, you're seeing a side of her around other situations that are not you. If it's a different conversation, different uh, situation. So for example, you might see um, your chick is, let's say for example, taking some sexy pictures or whatever. She's got them in her phone. Let's say she didn't send them to nobody. She didn't send them to you. That's just, she just took them pictures because she wanted to take some sexy pictures to make herself feel good and all that other goofy shit, right? So now you see the pictures and you're thinking, yo, what's up with these pictures? And why are you taking these pictures? And who are you sending these pictures to? And blah, 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 blah. And it's like, bruh, it's not about you. You've entered again a situation where you were never meant to be. You understand that her taking the pictures could just be her for example, trying to feel good about herself and all this other stuff. Now, again, the reasoning as to, you know, why she's doing what she's doing and what's going on as far as, let's say, her cheating or her flirting or her saying a certain thing you didn't expect, right? You may not like that or necessarily, uh, you know, agree with those things. You understand? Well, what happens is, let's say you never went through her phone. Let's say, for example, she was, uh, you know, bitching about you to her friend, right? And, and, and guys, understand it like this. Think about when you talk to your friend about your girl or some girls you fucking with. You may love your girl, but you may say to your, your friend, yo, this bitch is the worst. She done did this the other day. And if your girl went in your phone and saw that, she would think you don't love her. She would think, oh, why are you saying this? You see what I'm saying? But it's just that private moment between you and your friend about what's going on in your life, right? So flip it again, where it's, you know, 
her saying the shit and you find that shit or her some random dude DMing her and her just entertaining it for, for two minutes and she never hits him up again you understand or you know the only thing I would say that would suck is if you found out that this chick was cheating right and yeah definitely you want to uh you know keep that shit pushing or do what you got to do in that situation but um understand that if in that event where it's cheating specifically you would have probably found that out anyway you understand which is even partly the reason why sometimes you even look in that phone in the first place because you already felt like something was up so you would have found that out anyway at some point you know what I'm saying? unless your girl's really good at cheating but uh, with other situations, there are, I just want you guys to understand that there are situations where your girl is going to be and going to act in ways that you will never be able to fathom because you are in the situation with her. So soon, as soon as you're in the situation with her, she's going to be a certain way because she has a certain way that she acts and interacts with you which will be different than how she acts and interacts with others and so sometimes what happens is with the phone with the phone with her phone which is something that is uh private which she also communicates and interacts with others you're going to see a side of her that you may have that you may not see when she's interacting with you and what i'm saying is that you can't necessarily put yourself in that situation because you were never meant to be in that situation i hope you guys are really understanding what the fuck i'm saying here now if you have a, 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 a situation in your relationship where you feel that things are not going the way you expect or you may be suspicious about something have a conversation with your girl you understand what I'm saying? And you're going to find out certain things that are relevant and th certain things that aren't relevant aren't even going to be brought up because it's actually not relevant. So, for example, your girl bitching about you to her friend could just be how her and her friends talk. You understand? When they letting loose and unwinding, it doesn't necessarily reflect on how she really feels about you on how much she actually loves you. But again, if you look into your phone and look into her phone and you see her talking that shit, you're going to take that out of context and think, oh, this bitch don't even like me. Why the fuck she talking all this shit about me? You understand what I'm saying? Do you, do you guys get this? So what I'm saying is that when you are taking all this time to, 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 you know, look in the phone and then you're seeing things out of context, right? Um, you are going to assume that there's something underhanded happening in certain situations. And now again, with the exception of cheating, with the exception of cheating, um, you know, there are other things that you may see that may make you think that, damn, like this is something crazy, but it's really not crazy. I just want you guys to understand that you're going to be different around different people. You may think you're not. People be like, oh no, I keep it real, son. I'm the same way when I'm talking to it. No, you're not. You're not, uh, you're not the same talking to your grandma when you're chilling with your boys. You, you're not. I remember my uh, my dad. He used to, cause my dad's Jamaican, but he he don't really speak to patois that much. You understand? He just he just sound like you know, like just like an American when he's talking. You know, just on some everyday shit. But I I used to notice that when he would get around his Jamaican friends, that's when the patois just come out, and it's almost like he don't even recognize it. You understand? But that's how he relates and interacts with those guys. So if I was, if I never saw that, and then somebody filmed my dad speaking like that with Jamaican friends, I'd be like, who the fuck is this guy? Why is he, why is my dad talking like that? You understand? But that's how he is around that guy. It's not that he's being fake. That's just what comes out of him in that interaction. You see what I'm saying? That's what comes out of him when he is dealing with that situation so when you're dealing with your girl there's going to be certain things that come out of her in different situations when she's not around you and guess when she's not around you when she's in her fucking phone unless she's texting you or hitting you up everything else around that phone and that conversation in the phone that dm that fucking uh pictures whatever the fuck is going on that's her being her not around you so when you 
in, in, when you get her phone and you're looking through her phone, understand that you are looking at her, not around you. And based off of what you find, and guys, you shouldn't be looking at it in the first place. So this is what I'm trying to say. You open in Pandora's box. You feel what I'm saying? You're going to find shit that's going to make you feel a certain type of way about her. Then you're going to judge her based off the shit you see that had nothing to do with you in the first place. You understand? If you, if you feel like you're having issues in your relationship, talk to your woman. Don't go through the phone and then look at the shit and then judge it based off that and start acting passive aggressive and start doing some weird shit. So make sure that you are understanding that your girl is going to have a certain different side of her outside of you. And if you feel like there's an issue going on in your relationship, put down that phone and talk to her face to face. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.